Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Ormark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we're going to use a project using Enjoy Life and we are going to create a background which is using something called glycerin. Now we need a piece of scrap paper um, and the glycerin I'm using is something that you can get in most cooking baking stores and most of the supermarkets do it. You need a tiny little drop and we're going to pick it up with a sponge. You can use any sponge but you need to work it into the sponge well and then coat the card. So the cardstock you're literally going to brush it completely with the glycerin. Now what glycerin does is it stops the ink from drying immediately so it slides across the surface really easily and it makes blending for backgrounds very simple and quick. Um, so if you're not skilled at doing backgrounds, it's a really easy way to get a beautiful blend very simply. Now, I've cut a little mask for the sun. However, first blooper, it doesn't actually stick very well to the glycerin. So you have to sort of put your finger on it because it was not going to stick. Um, so getting our sponge daubers and you need to get some ink in the well on the lid. Taking a sponge dauber, this is crushed curry, and we're going to start from the centre and literally just smooth it round with the sponge dauber. There's very little um, working that you have to do. It slides beautifully easily on the glycerin. So I'm turning it around carefully because obviously the little mask for the sun is not going to stick. So just as I say, take the crushed curry, work it round, um, and you don't need to press very hard at all. It literally just slides onto the cardstock very easily. Now we're going to take Calypso Coral, and again with some ink in the well. We're going to take another sponge dauber and we're just going to put it round the edges. Again to start off with it looks a bit of a mess because you're not working with it very hard. You're literally just laying down the colour. So you do get separate parts to start off with. And literally just put it round in a circle. And then the darkest colour we're using is Blackberry Bliss. And the Blackberry Bliss, we take it from the edge and bring it in because it's very dark. And just again, blend it right along the edge. So you have three completely separate colours. And again, it looks a bit of a mess. But now we're going to take the crushed curry again. And this was my second blooper, because I actually picked it up in the wrong colour. So I got some blackberry bris in the centre. But again, with it being the glycerin, it means that you can move it through very easily. So you just smooth it across and now we're taking everything together, all of the colours, and just blending them through from the centre to the outside, from the outside to the centre. And as you can see, suddenly all of the colours start to blend through beautifully and you have a lovely smooth background with this gorgeous sunrise or sunset. And again, just work it through as much as you want. The glycerin means that the ink doesn't dry, so you can move it around, almost like watercolouring. So now we're going to do the bottom part of the card. And this time we're using Old Olive. And again, take our sponge dauber with some ink in the well. And again, just working it from the outside first because it's quite a dark colour. And then just blending it very, very lightly across. And as you can see, it just smooths beautifully right the way across the card. 
Now I turned it round so I could get some more colour from the outside in. But as you can see, it blends and works really quickly and really easily. And it's a great way if you're not somebody who likes doing backgrounds and tends to get blobs if you're using a sponge dauber or a sponge on dry cardstock. It's a way of creating a beautiful background. Now for the horizon, I'm just literally rubbing it from side to side so it blends slightly the top part with the bottom. Now, because there's still glycerin on the card, if you take some kitchen roll and literally just rub it smoothly across, you will find that the colours will blend through even more and you get a really beautiful, subtle background. So let's remove that scratch paper. And we need to bring in the Stamparatus now. And I have put all of the pieces to save some time onto the Stamparatus. The great thing is, with the two plates, you can set everything up and you can have four stamping surfaces because you can use either side of the plate, which is absolutely perfect for working on lots of cards very quickly. Once it's all set up and lined up, all you have to do is to put the cardstock down, pop your magnet in place, ink it up and away you go. So we're going to ink it up in a good black ink and we're going to take the lovely sentiment and the girl with her arms in the air, stamp that across. Now I like to get a really dark image so I tend to stamp up, um, ink up twice and again the Stamparatus allows us to do it because it positions it exactly in the same place every time. So now we're going to do the grass along the bottom and I need to ease it along just a couple of um, spaces because the grass, we want it to come right the way across the bottom. So ink it up and just press it down. Now, this is my second blooper. I didn't position it perfectly for the second hinge step. And there's a little gap and a little space at the bottom. But we will find a solution later on. So ink it up. This is where I realised that it hadn't completely lined up. But most errors or bloopers in cards can be rectified. And I'll show you how to do that later on. So now we're going to swap the hinge round to the other side of the plate. Ink it up and we want the little flowers. And again with the hinge step you can just move the plate along. Ink it up and you can get the lovely little flower on the other side as well. And now all we need to do is to add a couple of little butterflies. And we have a beautiful card all ready to be mailed. All of the details are below in the description box, so please have a look. And please look at subscribing to my channel because I do post regularly with lots of different ideas. Now, here's how to fix our stamping right markers in black. We can just colour the bit along the bottom and then where the little gap is, just fill it in quite quickly. Now I mount these on black because then it makes the background pop and here are a few examples that I've done as well as the one that we've just made. So you can see how quickly it is to make beautiful cards very simply using the Stamparatus and for a background using glycerin. 
So thank you so much for watching me and I do look forward to seeing you again. Bye-bye.